guys welcome back to the channel thanks for checking this out if you're just seeing videos for the first time um, subscribe if it's something you're into and if you like our videos so um, it looks like the Disney Fox deal could possibly be taking effect already on some of the um, Fox properties the movies I'm not saying that that's an official thing that is being said but I think it's definitely a possibility to consider because a few of the Fox films that are upcoming in the near future, coming up in the near future, um, just got new release dates. So Deadpool 2, New Mutants, and Gambit to be exact. Um, so some are getting moved ahead and some are getting pushed back. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's moving ahead and what's being pushed back. Um, Deadpool 2 is being moved up a couple of weeks. So it was supposed to be released um, on June 1st of this year, 2018, and now it's going to be released um, May 18th of this year. So just a few weeks after um, Infinity War, Deadpool 2 will be coming out. So um, that's good news for Deadpool fans. Um, I liked the first Deadpool movie, but I was not quite as overjoyed with it as a lot of people are, but I know that people who like the character we're happy to finally see his character done right in a movie. So I think it'll probably be, um, I think the sequel will be just as big of a success as the first one was. Since Disney has said that they are going to stick with the R-rated tone that Deadpool 1 was, uh, you know, what they did with that movie, they're gonna go ahead and stick with that for the second movie. And so since that's being pushed up, that makes sense doesn't seem like they're going to be making changes to it and stuff like that so um now new mutants is actually going to be pushed back quite a bit um this is the new mutants it was kind of it's going to be like a horror story type of movie a mutant movie something pretty different from the other x-men movies um so it's going to be pushed back 10 months um from april 13th of this year to February 22nd of next year, 2019. So that's quite a bit, it's almost a year. Yes, movies do get pushed back and stuff like that. But that's quite a bit. Um, it was supposed to come out in just a few months. So um, one, <laughs> insiders are saying that one possible reason for this 10 month pushback for New Mutants is that in overseas markets, Deadpool 2 and New Mutants might have had an overlapping in theaters and they didn't want to do that. But I think personally that 10 months is quite a while to push a movie back just to avoid a little bit of overlapping in theaters. I mean, I don't think you'd have to push it back that far to avoid an overlapping in theaters. And if they are sort of overlapping, at least maybe just for a little while in theaters, I don't think why that's such a bad thing. People, after the first couple of weeks, kind of stuff starts you know movies are the crowds are kind of dying down anyway for any movie so i don't see why it'd be such a big deal to have them overlap in but i don't know i think 10 months is quite a while a quite a long time to push a movie back just to avoid that and it's not like they didn't know that before anyway even if they hadn't moved up deadpool 2 they could have possibly still been overlapping so I don't know. I think it has something to do with maybe Disney doesn't want to release a horror style movie for a mutant for an X-Men movie, but that's just me saying that. So, I don't want to start any rumors. It's just speculation. But anyway, um Gambit, which has been started and stopped and started and stopped like several times. It's been like years that Channing Tatum has been trying to get a Gambit movie up and running and now it seems like it's having another setback after they're finally like you know getting some legs under it um it's going to be pushed back as well but not quite as far not quite as much as new mutants so its original schedule uh premiere date was february 14th 2019 so not till next year but it's still being pushed back till june 7th of 2019 so yeah that movie just seems to be <laughs> cursed or something it just never wants something's always coming up to, like I said it's just having all these hurdles to jump over of you know they rewrote the script a few times and it was just but Channing Tatum I guess is seems like he was kind of um 
the same way as Ryan Reynolds was about making a Deadpool movie. Like, he's just determined to do it. So that's a good thing. But, you know, sometimes when these movies take years to... When people hear, oh, it's happening, and then it's not happening. It's happening, it's not happening. Sometimes that can help... That can make people lose interest because they're just like, well, all these years of back and forth and not knowing when it's going to come out and being pushed back and having a new script and, you know, being put on the shelf and then all these things that people can lose interest because you don't even know if after all that the movie is going to be worth all the weight and all the trouble that they've gone through just to get it out there. I'm not saying it's not going to be. It's just it can make people start feel, feeling that way when there's so much back and forth with it, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> it, like I said, it seems like the Fox-Disney deal could possibly be having an effect on these movies' release dates. And, um, like I said, that's not what it says in the official statements or anything. It's just um, what I think could be taking place. Because I don't think it's a coincidence that they just have done this deal, or it's probably still being worked out, but, you know... And then these movies are getting your release dates. I mean, it's, I guess, a good thing that Deadpool 2 was moved up, but these other movies were pushed back. And like I said, New Mutants is a very different take on an X-Men movie. So I guess it's possible that with Disney being a very family-oriented brand, maybe they don't want to go that direction with New Mutants. Maybe they're trying to change it. I'm not saying that that's what's happening. That's just my speculation personally so don't say I started these rumors and that I'm no I'm just speculating me personally <laughs> um, I don't know I guess it depends on if they're planning on including the mutant character the X-Men characters with the current Marvel Universe because obviously a horror style X-Men movie would not make sense with the current Marvel Cinematic Universe at all unless I don't know if they're gonna have them like all in one universe in some way or if they're going to keep them separate if they're going to keep them separate they kind of have to i guess in a way because deadpool 2 i mean deadpool doesn't really fit in with the cine marvel cinematic universe either because he's very rated r material <laughs> and he's not kid friendly or family friendly and the marvel cinematic universe is it's very different even though there are some darker things and darker movies it's not like Deadpool at all <laughs> so I guess it just depends what they have planned but since they are going ahead and keeping Deadpool 2 rated R and doesn't seem like they're making changes to it since they moved it up I don't know we'll just have to wait and see so also in Marvel news um, <clears throat> a writer has been assigned I guess you could say or named in a Black Widow solo movie now um, from what I understand, it's not implying that a Deadpool, I mean, a Black Widow movie is confirmed. It's just that they could possibly be one step closer to having a Black Widow solo movie. So, of course, if they if they have enlisted a writer, which is Jack Schaefer, which is a woman, not a man, Jack Schaefer, I'm guessing is short for Jackie, um, then, you know, um... Sorry, I lost my thought. Oh, just because she writes a script doesn't mean that Marvel or Disney is going to be on board with it. Um, they'd have to first approve the script and say, yes, we want to go ahead and go forward, move forward with this project, with this film. Um, it's just saying that they have enlisted a writer and that they could possibly be one step closer to having a Black Widow solo movie, which, similar to some of the other movies, has been talked about and kind of like, yes, we would like to do one, we would like to do one, but nothing's ever really happened for in any way to get one going. And so this is a step that hasn't ever been taken as far as doing a Black Widow solo movie. So whether you care about that or not, I, don't, I just want to include it in this um, uh, video. I'm not saying that people shouldn't care about it. I'm just saying, I mean, we've seen her so much in, like, everyone else's movies and the Avengers movies um, that it's like, is it necessary for her to have a solo movie? Like, we already pretty much know her story. And I'm not saying that they would... I mean, maybe they might not do an origin movie, but if they're going to do a movie that takes that's not an origin movie and kind of takes place 
sort of somewhere within the current um, continuity of the Marvel movies, then that's sort of, I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on the story they would want to do, I guess. Because we, like I said, we pretty much already know her origin story for the most part from previous movies. Um, I don't know, like, would it really be a solo movie? Like, would they, I'm guessing they would have other Avengers or Marvel characters in her movie if it's not a solo, if it's not an origin movie. Because, like, what kind of, who would she have as her villain? Or what would she, I don't know. I don't know if she has enough um content to have a solo movie that people would be genuinely interested in to see just by herself but i don't want to be mean or biased i'm just saying maybe there's a reason that they haven't actually moved forward with doing a black widow movie before even though they wanted to because maybe they didn't feel like there'd be a big enough audience to just watch her by herself in a movie but and that's maybe that's why they introduced her in other people's movies because maybe there's not enough to have a rich to have a rich story for her in her own movie but I don't know we'll see what happens with that so let me know what you guys think about all of that stuff are you happy disappointed feel indifferent about all that Marvel stuff going on right now so let me know in the comments and check out the links in the description as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time